Welcome back to Stacy's Secrets. I'm Stacy. We have a special request, my very first request for a video, and that is some breakup advice. So I am going to be talking today about my breakup experiences, how I dealt with it. Hopefully it will help you and your broken heart. I just want to start by saying thank you to the person who reached out to me. It takes a lot of bravery in doing what you did. I am absolutely open to helping you with some advice and I thought I would help you by sharing my story on my break. It was the summer of high school, first year. <laughs> I met a guy and he had a, a really cool name and just for personal disclosure, let's call this guy Xander. So I met Xander and I thought he was really, really cool, really, really funny, really, really smart. He had long curly hair, like a rock star, wore death metal t-shirts, he had a whole bunch of tattoos, earrings, and he wore ripped jeans to a lot of family functions. No regrets. Video continues on. Soon enough, we became the best of friends and it was a really great first relationship. And so this relationship lasted six years. I started really kind of thinking, what if I'm missing out? I didn't know, I was young. So I ended this relationship. I went out and ventured and dated a new guys. And I realized that no one was like Xander. He got me and no one else was good enough. I got really, really depressed. I thought that I would always be alone and that there was no one else out there for me. What to do? Heartbroken, wanting the other person back, not feeling the best about yourself. I get it. So what I ended up doing was I had this interest in modeling. This was a time where Facebook had just started and a lot of my friends out of high school and university were getting into modeling. I contacted one of my friends who had done a photo shoot. She took me under her wing. It completely took all of my focus. I started really feeling love for myself. I started feeling really, really good about myself. One of the, the things that I would say before I continue the story is you need to distract yourself. You absolutely need to throw yourself into something new. You need to change up your life, whether that's getting a new job, getting a new hobby. I ended up getting into meditation, learning about chakras, learning about loving yourself, getting out of your head and not, not thinking about the negative stuff all the time and really doing something, taking an action. Easier said than done. So I modeled for a really long time. I was still soul searching. Like I said in my last video, I was so focused on boys, so focused on finding my soulmate. And that led me to a self-development course. I ended up meeting this guy named Daniel. We hit it off right away, great chemistry. We actually became friends for a year and I put him right in the friend zone and I was looking all over the place and then realized, man, I could really be myself with Daniel. I said it like, Daniel. A long story short, I'm still with Daniel today and that took time. It took time to get over that first relationship. It took time to start and build a new relationship because sometimes you feel like you're so broken or I was so set on being independent. Again, I didn't think that this relationship would last. I didn't think anyone could be like that other guy. Letting go of that and accepting that that was done allowed space for something new to grow. In my last video I mentioned it's extremely important to take care of yourself. Eating right and getting a good sleep will help you feel better in itself. Those actions. Cooking is something to distract yourself. Maybe you don't know how to cook. Learn how to cook. Get interested in it. Get interested in taking care of your body. Take up exercising, go to classes, it's a great place to meet people, go to the gym, it's a great place to meet people. Exercise will give you happy endorphins as well, and so even though you don't want to do it, it actually will make you feel better. Getting out of bed. Getting out of bed is really, really hard when you first break up with someone, or months down the road, or you get into a new relationship and that doesn't work and then you're thinking about the old one. I get it. Getting out of bed can be the hardest part. Have an agenda. Fill your agenda with tasks so that you always have something to do to keep you busy. Having an action like exercise or making breakfast right out of bed will help you get out of bed and into your day. Even just going for a walk in the morning, it's just an action, movement, movement gets thoughts moving and you want to move past those thoughts. So all these things can really help. There's so many groups 
out there to help support you in whatever you're going through. And support is so key as well. Getting those feelings out and learning and hearing that, hey, those are all regular normal things in life. This is a part of life. You're not weird and you're not helpless and you're not worthless. And going to find those groups to support you is really, really good for your heart. If you want to check out a couple people on YouTube, you can check out Tony Robbins, you can check out Gabrielle Bernstein, and a crucial book that I'm going to recommend is Ask and It Is Given. That one was really, really powerful. In breakup mode or in loss mode, you're feeling a little bit out of control, you're not feeling very self-confident and powerful. So this book and those inspirational people that I mentioned are all gonna be helpful tools in getting through this breakup. But time does really heal all. I feel so happy for Xander. Just remember, you can survive. Everyone is surviving. Everyone's had their heart broken before. And I know that sucks to hear. It's just part of life. I find that relationships teach you how to be strong and remind you that you need to love yourself and focus on you. And if you focus on you and you love what you do and you're going through the motions of life and you're taking actions toward being happy every day, that will attract an awesome person into your life who will see how happy you are, how much you love yourself, and they will love that about you. Wake up in the morning and say yes to life. Choose your choice. I'm choosing to be with Daniel and I'm choosing this relationship and no matter what the hardships, I, I love Daniel so much that I'm choosing to be in this relationship every single day. And that goes with happiness as well. You wake up in the morning and you don't feel good. It is a choice that you are going to be happy today. You have to say to yourself, I choose happiness today. I choose to be happy today. Even if those negative thoughts come in, thank those thoughts, push them aside and say, I am choosing to be happy today. I just wanna thank you so much for reaching out to me. I really appreciate you asking me a question that has made me feel so good. So feel good that you made me feel good and I hope that I can make you feel good. I'm sending you lots of good energy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Just like this viewer did, you can leave me a comment below and you can ask me anything that's on your mind, anything that you're dealing with in life and I would absolutely love to help you. I put out videos every Thursday for you. That's why I ask you to subscribe. I will see you next time. So remember, it's our little secret. I won't tell anyone. Don't you worry. But maybe this secret will help a couple more of my viewers out. As everyone goes through heartbreak, be thankful that you are going through it now so you are stronger for your next relationship. Power to ya. Boom. Boom. Okay, bye. Sushi, come on, baby, see, don't know. I want to make you feel better. I'ma help you.